Ukraine is calling for more advanced weapons from the West. The U.S. and the U.K. made a commitment to do so, but some fear they may not come quickly enough to overcome Russia's forces. On the battleground, Russia says its forces have attacked a Ukrainian facility for training foreign mer mercenaries in the Zitomir region. And Russia also says Ukrainian forces have suffered significant personnel losses in Donbas. Ukraine says the number of Russian soldiers killed in action is higher than those from its troops. CDTN could not independently verify this claim, though. Philip Crowther has more from Lviv. Well, tonight we have news from two of the many front lines where Ukrainian and Russian forces are fighting it out right now. The most important one, of course, is in the eastern Donbass region around the city of Severodonetsk in the Luhansk province there. We've heard from the governor of that province pretty much every day, and his update tonight is that it's not even safe to be in shelters right now in both the cities of Severodonetsk but also Lysychansk on the other side of the river. Both are being shelled incessantly, he says, by Russian forces forces right now. He also says that the cities, this is Severodonetsk, that that city's uh, most important concert and sports venue has burnt down because it was hit uh, by Russian shells. And he adds this, and there's no way of verifying this. He says that Russian losses, Russian soldiers killed in action are higher than those on the Ukrainian side. Now, we cannot, again, verify this, but we do know from the Ukrainian side, and this has been repeated, that Kiev believes that up to 100 Ukrainian soldiers could be killed every day in action on the front lines here in this country and that up to 500 could be wounded. That's, of course, an enormous amount and an unsustainable one in a war that is expected to drag on. The other news from another front, front line comes from the region of Zaporizhia. It's in the southeast of the country. And here Ukrainian officials are saying that Russia appears to be preparing to resume an offensive on the city of Zaporizhia. That province is partly held by Russian forces, but the capital city Zaporizhia is not. And the fear is that there could be an offensive coming there from Russian forces. Philip Crowther, Associated Press for CGTN in Lviv, Ukraine.